In entertainment news, Lagos State Governor Babajide Somolu has officially declared the museum in the Gerardel Center for Yoruba Heritage and Culture in Onikon open for public use. Speaking at the event, Governor Somolu declared that the state remains the centerpiece of tourism and has the potential for music, film, art, and culture in Africa. Plus TV correspondent Love Oyedekun tells us more in this report. The ceremony attracted a diverse crowd of art enthusiasts, dignitaries, and stakeholders eager to witness the unveiling of the new cultural landmark. During the inauguration, Governor Sawolu emphasized the significance of the museum as a vital addition to Lagos' cultural landscape. Speaking at an interactive session with creative stakeholders, the governor stated that the state remains the centerpiece of tourism and has the potential for music, film, art, and culture in Africa. So, Lagos was a very strong heritage place until when Nigeria also came and we had to begin to shift and move around. And some of our own grandfathers and great-grandfathers were all indigenous of this place. But they have to now begin to shift out into western the old western part of Lagos, you know, western region, which is like Suleri and the Kedja and the rest of But he said so many instructed that we growing up is even a taboo where you speak Yoruba. You cannot, they, you, they will punish you in school for speaking vernacular. Mokuro, they will punish you in school for, I mean, and that is where our problem started. So when I see them in Chokom now, somebody asking for reparation, our reparation is due long time before now. Because, you know, that is a culture and an history that we should not have even forgotten anything about. While embracing more participation from the private sector, Governor Sawolo said his administration will create an enabling environment for all stakeholders to thrive in the sector. Using this, this medium to talk to the likes of the Beauty Museum that still has a lot of uh, our, well, artifacts, you know, <laughs> you know, be it taken away, be it, you know, purchased, whatever, in whatever name. Let us restore them back to the original people. Let us bring them back, Smithsonian, wherever they are. Let us be able to speak out and say to them, it's about time that we bring these things back. And even be able to now feature in, into modern architecture and modern history, the kind of, you know, arts and, and culture that we have now and be able to, you know, bring the past, yes. the present, and what you see into the future, and bring it into one, one location. So, yes, the heritage thing, we don't have a whole lot now, but it's a work in progress. In her remarks, Commissioner for Tourism, Arts and Culture, Tokyo Benson Awoyinka, noted that the opening of the museum is an indication of the unwavering commitment of Lagos State to preserve and promote the invaluable history and traditions of the Yoruba people. The John Randall Center is more than just a building. It is a living tribute to the richness of Yoruba culture and an invitation for all to partake in its beauty. Together, let us honor our past, embrace our present, and inspire our future to elevate the legacy of Yoruba people. This initiative is not about preservation, it's about innovation. We invite our youth to engage with the ring interpret our heritage in contemporary ways, bridging the gap between generations and ensuring that culture remains dynamic and relevant. Benson Awinka said that the J. Rondo Center will serve as a beacon of knowledge, highlighting the profound contributions of the Yoruba ancestors and the enduring spirit of the rich culture as a center is assigned to foster a deep sense of connection and pride among all who visit. The J. Rondo Museum features a diverse collection of contemporary and traditional artworks showcasing pieces from both established and emerging Nigerian artists. With its modern architecture and thoughtfully curated exhibitions, the museum aims to serve as a hub for artistic expression, education, and cultural dialogue. Love Uyudukun, Plus TV. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.